least see what you wanted to see in terms of uh, competitive pride from your yeah. team? Yeah, I thought we, we came out and, uh, you know, showed heart uh, in this game. It was a very difficult game uh, emotionally, uh, you know, losing that last game and, uh, you know, having to come back and, you know, try to, uh, you know, beat the defending champions. Uh, you know, basically for us, it was all about uh, showing heart uh, tonight, respecting the game, um, you know, giving your best and leaving it out on the floor. Uh, and, you know, whatever uh, the result um, at the end of the game, being able to live with that. I thought our guys tonight, uh, you know, fought again. You know, uh, we fought our way back into the game. Um, you know, get, you, we take the lead uh, with a few minutes to go on the clock and have a chance to uh, win this game again. But you have to, as I, you know, tell our guys, you got to give credit to... Uh, Cleveland, they made shots uh, throughout this series when they needed to. Uh, they came up with stops when they needed to, um, you know, big rebounds. Uh, they made the plays to uh, win the game, and uh, that's what you have to do uh, in order to, uh, you know, to, to win ball games. Nate, Nate um, Paul George has been kind of superhuman yeah. in the playoffs last year and now this year and, and really for last month. Anyway, today he was mortal. Um, does it get to be a shock that, is it a shock almost that he was mortal? And A, are you got to be pleased that you guys gave it a run without him being Superman? Well, he, I, you could just see that he had worn down. Uh, he, he, you know, I'm looking at him doing the game and, you know, he's trying to uh, give his all and he's short on some shots. I thought uh, there were some times when, uh, you know, he may have rushed uh, a few shots, but you could see uh, that, uh, you know, he was a little uh, worn down from just really the last month of uh you know, leading leading this team, and uh, some of his sh shots uh, were short. Um, you know, he really couldn't get past the defenders. You know, they've been rotating guys on him throughout this series, starting with Smith. You bring in Shumpert, then you got LeBron leaning on him, uh, and you know he had to guard those guys as well. So uh, I thought he gave us what he had, and uh, you know I thought he continued to try to play the game the right way. Uh, you know, even though, um, you know, tonight, um, you know, he, he did look a little fatigued. I think he's averaging pl close to 40 minutes in this series. Tonight plays 43. And, um, you know, eventually that's going to catch up with you. Nate, Lance clearly established himself as a leader on this team uh, this evening playing as well as he did coming off the bench. Your thoughts on what he was able to do for you? Well, you know, we, we get him late in season, and, you know, he brings energy and a passion and, you know, I think somewhat of a toughness, uh, you know, to the roster. Uh, you know, coming off the bench, he provided, uh, you know, the energy and, and uh, you know, just the, the, really the passion we've really been looking all season for. Uh, and I thought our guys responded uh, to that and, you know, trying to, uh, you know, fit him into a rotation. Um, we started off with him, you know, coming in at the two position, and I just felt that at the point position uh, he could probably do a little bit more for us. And, uh, you know, over the course of the games, uh, you know, bringing him in to back up Jeff uh, and then playing him with Jeff and Paul, uh, that – seem to to work out but uh it was some good stuff you know i, I like his uh, passion i like his fight um you know he brings as i said toughness uh you know to the floor and you know he tries to play the game the right way you know he's a pass first uh guy uh a guard out there and um you know we're gonna have to work with him uh, on his defense, uh, you know, com committing more to that end of the floor because he can, you know, if he can come in and, and, and you know, guard some twos and some threes, uh, we know he's a good rebounder and offensively what he is able to, uh, to give you, he can really help us. Nate, it's, it's 
there's so many different ways you can view this series from a, from a team standpoint. Yes, you get swept, but you could also look at how close the games were and the opportunities that were there. As the coach looking at this, do you feel like you were close to something, or is this team still quite a ways away from being where you would like it to be? No, I think we are close. And, you know, as I told the team, um, I thought this season, uh, you know, I really – Never go through the schedule and say, okay, we're going to be a 50-win team. Uh, but we're better than a 500 team. And I thought we played 500 basketball um, all season long. And, you know, uh, really, uh, we, we want to learn a lesson from, from Cleveland uh, in the sense that uh, those guys are conditioned to play this time of the season and to play in those types of game where they're emotional and uh, your, your minutes increase. Uh, you know, you go from 30 to maybe 35, you go from 35 to 40, and we have to condition ourselves throughout the season to build up, to be able to play uh, like that uh, and not run out of gas. I thought our last two games, we kind of we ran out of gas, you know. Um, you look at uh, Cleveland and you look at LeBron, and you know those shots that uh, he has taken late. Um, you know he's knocking them down, and uh, those rebounds they're running them down. Uh, and you know there had, there were some shots where you know we didn't knock down our shots. We looked a little uh, fatigued and uh, looked gassed out there. Uh, so you 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 build up to be able to perform at a high level uh, during the season. And, um, you know, so even though I thought, you know, we did some good things, uh, we can and we will be better. Nate, given the expectations and just sort of your guys' initial thoughts as the season began, what was, when you look at the entire year, not just the series, what was most disappointing for you in this group? most disappointing um, you know I thought consistency is something that uh, you know we talked a lot about throughout the season uh, you know where we were getting consistent solid play and you know we where we would build off the good and improve and get better uh, we as I mentioned was a 500 ball club uh, this season and really never got that consistency where we were playing uh, Continuing to get better, you know, we would play a game win a game lose a game win two, lose two uh, I thought this last stretch of the season um, And into the playoffs was, was the most consistent I've seen us, you know far as playing both ends of the floor uh, so and that's an area where, uh, you know, we need to show improvement and show growth um, throughout the season.